Russian President Vladimir Putin has just signed sweeping legislation that bans what they are calling LGBT propaganda from the nation. The far-reaching bill, now law, prohibits any and all contents that depict non-traditional sexual relations, gender reassignment and paedophilia in a positive light. And the law stands to all social media platforms, advertising and mass media, such as the television and cinema. Now, while the law is being resoundingly denounced by Western leaders, few appear to understand the far deeper civilizational significance behind the law. Let Putin speak for himself. A further challenge for the national Russian identity is connected with the processes we observe outside of Russia. They include foreign policy, moral and other aspects. We see that many Euro-Atlantic states, that's the West, have taken the way where they deny or reject their own roots, including their Christian roots, which form the basis of Western civilization. In these countries, the moral basis and any traditional identity are being denied. National, religious, cultural and even gender identities are being denied or relativized. Their politics treats a family with many children as equal to a homosexual partnership judicially. Faith in God is equal to faith in Satan. The excesses and exaggerations of political correctness in these countries indeed leads to serious consideration for the legitimization of parties that promote the propaganda of paedophilia. The people in many European states are actually ashamed of their religious affiliations and are indeed frightened to speak about them. Christian holidays and celebrations are abolished or neutrally renamed as if one were ashamed of those Christian holidays. With this method, one hides away from the deeper moral value of these celebrations. And these countries try to force this model on other countries globally. I'm deeply convinced that this is a direct way to the degradation and primitivization of culture. This leads to deeper demographic and moral crisis in the West. What can be better evidence for the moral crisis of a human society in the West than the loss of its reproductive function? And today, nearly all developed Western countries cannot survive reproductively, not even with the help of migrants. Without the moral values that are rooted in Christianity and other world religions, without rules and moral values which have been formed and developed over millennia, people will inevitably lose their human dignity. They become brutes. And we think it right and natural to defend and preserve these moral Christian values. One has to respect the right of every minority to self-determination, but at the same time, there cannot and must not be any doubt about the rights of the majority. But the gist of the speech was that the woke West has largely lost their traditional moral values, which has resulted in an implosion of human dignity, most especially evidence in the loss of reproduction. For Putin, as he pointed out in his speech, there really is no greater, more poignant sign of social degradation than the loss of what he calls reproductive function. A declining population is indicative of a dying culture. And so Putin and indeed most of all non-Western nations see an inextricable link between the advent of what scholars call lifestyle values and the implosion of reproductive function. This is precisely the conclusion of University of London scholar Eric Kaufman. He argued recently that liberal values undermine procreation precisely because liberal values undermine the family traditionally understood. Liberalism redefines having children as a mere lifestyle choice and nothing more. And you can't redefine having children as a mere lifestyle choice and expect your society to continue to repopulate. It's what Kaufman calls the soft underbelly of liberalism. In other words, secular liberalism entails its own demographic contradiction. Liberalism necessitates the freedom not to reproduce. And so, as it turns out, secular liberalism is an inherently feudal belief system that by its nature undermines civilization. 
And that brings us precisely to the rise of Russia as one of the first bona fide civilization states. But first,